Time in YouTube and welcome back to Deck Profiles. Today we are going to be looking over a Mega Sharpedo deck. Um, Mega Sharpedo, if you guys haven't known, just recently came out as a part of a premium collection box. Um, you can pick up uh, Mega Camera up as well in this format. Um, obviously, we're in the Sun and Moon format now, so Megas aren't going to be as common. So having this opportunity, it's kind of a little bit of fun. It'll break up a lot of the Sun and Moon hype, especially with Guardian Horizons coming out just in the next couple weeks. Um, so Mega Sharpedo EX here is a 210 HP Dark type Pokemon, Mega obviously, with Torpedo Dive, 2 Dark Energy, 1 Colorless, you're going to do 120 damage. Uh, this attack does 10 damage to each of your opponent's benched Pokemon uh, based on their retreat cost. So if they have 1 retreat cost, they're going to take 10 damage. If they've got 2, they're going to take 20. If they've got 3, they're going to take 30. That could rack up quite a bit. So. You know, every time they come in, they're gonna be, you know, damaged, which is very nice for Sharpedo because it will make it easier to get that two shot potential. Now, what we're gonna try and do is combo it off to get more damage off of that secondary ability. So, we are gonna partner up with three, a 3 3 line of the Team Aqua's Muck, Stage 1, 110 HP, Psychic type Pokemon. It has the ability Sludge Festival. The retreat cost of each Pokemon in play, excluding Team Aqua Pokemon, is one retreat cost more. So, this will increase their damage from 10 to 20. Um, it has Pester, but we're not gonna bother using it, so no point going over that. Um, we are having one other tech as well, barring Shaman, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, and that's going to be a Stage 1 Bannet. 80 HP Psychic Pokemon, and the only reason we're using this is for Tool Concealment. Each Pokemon Tool card in play has no effect, so we are going to want to use our Spirit Links prior to playing this Pokemon. But what it does is it stops Pokemon on our opponent's side from using Float Stones. We do want to use the Float Stones, but if we don't have to, we do have other methods of it, and that will be the Escape Rope. And we also are running in Olympia, so if we have to, we can via Seeker into this or get other ways of switching. So we don't, we're not locked in ourselves. Uh, but with this card, it'll help us shut down other Floatstone users on our opponent's side, which would nas like make it so that we couldn't attack them with Sharpedo. So that is the idea behind that one. Uh, next up, we are going to be running four Mega Turbos. This way, we can kind of speed up our process of. Uh, getting that three energy cost because without it being a double colorless energy three energy does take a bit of time to get set up and you don't want to be waiting too many turns to do it we're running four trainers mail four golden balls the ultra balls and four via seeker um, we are obviously running shame and ex two of them as well uh, set up when you play this Pokemon from your hand you can draw up to six cards which is beautiful and to help out our muck I know, this is all over the place, I apologize. Uh, to help out our muck with that good old retreat cost, we're going to be playing Team Aqua's Secret Base. Uh, the retreat cost of each Pokemon play, excluding Team Aqua Pokemon, is going to be one more. So if we get one muck and one base down, that is going to be an additional 20 damage. If we can somehow manage to get all three of them, well, that'll be quite a bit. Now, we do have to worry about our bench space. We don't want to play the Shamans unless we have to. Uh, because Sharpedo, we're going to need one or two of them going at all times. And if we want to stop the float stones, we will have to waste a spot on the banat. So if we have one bench uh, Sharpedo, one bench banat, three mucks, that's our bench right there without even a shaman. So we kind of want to watch what we do here, but we have all of the options here. Um, to finish out our supporter line, we do have two Lysander, uh, 2N, and for Sycamore. We are running 9 Dark Energy. That is the deck, and hopefully it'll be able to do a lot of stuff on TCG, um, keeping up with meta and all that kind of stuff. So, without any further ado, let's hit onto that good old Battle Spot. Battle Spot would be like I was playing VGC. Uh, hit onto that good old First Ladder and see if we can get ourselves some wins. Alright guys, first match here against Golden Apple SK playing Water Dark Fairy... Psychic. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Gardevoir. Uh, kind of feels like Gardevoir to me. I might be wrong, but it feels like it. Uh, but all I can say is good luck to Golden Apple if you ever do see this video. You, uh, you'll, you'll be well played. I'm pretty sure you'll have a pretty strong deck to take us on. Because fairies tend to like sharks. For some reason. I don't know. But anyway. We have a decent opening hand. We have our Mega. We have our Sharpedo. But unfortunately, I can't go for anything else. Um, turn one. My opponent has a ton of Pokemon, which is great for her. Not so great for me. 
Uh, we are going to see it's a Zer it's Rainbow Xerneas. Oh, this is even better. I like it. I like it. I like Rainbow Xerneas. And yet, I've never played it. Uh, so our opponent does go first here. Um, and this is going to be a bit of a problem because she does have a resistance to me. So naturally, I would be able to one-shot this with my Mega, but I can't. I can't. Uh, does go for a Bridget. Now, you have a Golette. Um, we're going to see a... This is interesting. Now, I know the Joltik goes into Galvantula, or the dual-type Galvantula. I know the uh, Ponyard goes into the double-color Ponyard. But other than that, I'm not 100% sure what the Galette is for. Uh, maybe a secondary attacker? I'm not sure. Trainer's Mail hits, and we're going to get another Ultra Ball. So we can actually opt to get rid of this Ultra Ball and the secondary Sharpedo Link in hopes of getting a Shaman. Because that's what we're going to aim for right now. I don't have anything else I can play. I can't get the I can't get rid of this hand because I do have a Mega in it. And I don't want to opt to get rid of it, especially if one of mine is prized. I haven't had that opportunity to really look. I could have looked right now, but I didn't. Um, this is a bit of a problem, considering I haven't gotten any energy. Okay, I will just opt to pass this turn. That Shaman did not help me at all. It did not get Grimers. It did not get any tools that I would really need for this battle. And we're already going to be really behind. My opponent already... Like, this is turn two for my opponent. Already has an energy down. Has the ability to probably attack this turn if they get a double colorless energy. We do get nothing again. No energies at all here. Um, and we're going to see a second energy drop. This is going to be a bit of a problem. This is going to be a problem. So we're going to go for a Team Aqua base here. Uh, now we don't even have our Mega anymore. Uh, we get a... Uh, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Uh, floatstone on Shaman. I'm going to have to opt to lose two of my evolutions here because I have to Sycamore. I need energy. I'm so far behind now, it's not even funny. Okay, so we've got a couple options here. Actually, I've, I've got a, a good, good amount of options here. Um, we are going to drop a Dark Energy. I will have to sacrifice two of my energies away in order to get my Mega going. Still can't attack, but at least I'm not weak to Fairy. But my opponent has a lot of damage outputs. Uh, we're just going to Mega Evolve or Mega Turbo here, get that energy back, see if we can survive a turn. Uh, we'll pass. Whew, hopefully we'll survive this turn. I can't see it, though. Um, we're not looking amazing. But if my opponent does drop another Fairy Energy, that Rainbow Force is going to come at us. We're going to see it's the good old Lysander time and just passes the turn. Uh, we do get another Sharpedo Link. Uh, not a big deal. Uh, we are going to go for a Sycamore. I could potentially still get an Escape Rope, which would be perfect off of this. Uh, gets my Sharpedo out of there. I do get that Escape Rope, uh, and that is exactly what we're going to aim for. We get the Dark Energy going. We're going to Escape Rope. See what my opponent does opt to switch into, because she knows she's going to lose something now. It's going to be the Remoraid. Uh, we are going to go into our Mega. Uh, we're going to go for a Trainer's Mail. It's just going to get us a secret, uh, a Sycamore, because we already have our base out. It's just not a great hand there. Uh, we're going to hope for a Grimer or two. That's what I'm, lo I'm looking for. I need Grimers. We got it. All right. So we're going to start to be able to do a little bit more damage to the bench as well. We're going to go for that Torpedo Dive. We will pick up our first prize, which is awesome. It's going to be a Mega Turbo. So if I need to, I can easily start setting up that secondary Torpedo in the back. Joltik is up, has 10, 20 HP more, but if Galvantula comes down, it'll be able to eat up my Shamans, which is a big problem, and I have no way of getting that up. Uh, does drop the energy onto the Xerneas, though, uh, which is fine. If I can opt to get rid of that, we can take out the Joltik next turn. I just need a wait. There we go. Another Grimer. So we can go for a Muck here. Uh, Sharpedo. We can Mega Turbo. Grab that. Onto you. And unfortunately, I, at least my fear of the sh the Jolti of the Joltik is going to disappear. 
Uh, but we are going to get some other damage down. We'll have a second uh, Sharpedo going pretty soon. We're going to get a second prize as well from that Golette. We're going to get a Sharpedo. Up comes that Xerneas. We're going to grab another prize here for a Mega Turbo. So even if our main one does, for whatever reason, go down, we have that ability to Mega Turbo into one of the Lost Energies. So we're okay. I think we're okay here. Uh, and we'll have that ability to get another muck down, which will be able to one-shot that good old uh, Joltek now. We're looking good. We're looking good. Uh, Rainbow Road is having a hard time keeping up with us. Uh, no energy on that Bistrap. Has that ability to go for the Rainbow Force. We're going to take 160 damage. Now, they've already taken some damage onto this Xerneas, and we'll be able to take it out. Now, we're just going to drop this muck down. Um, we'll actually win this matchup right here. We'll be able to do enough damage to Xerneas. Uh, the Ramorade will go down, and so will the Joltex. So good game to my opponent. Torpedo Dive, proving that can take on Rainbow Road. Took out the entire board! We just cleared out five knockouts and cleared off this game. That is a matchup right there. I know, non-EX attackers, but Sharpedo cleared the board, got a ton of damage off, was a fantastic matchup. Um, now let's see if we can get into a second match, see if we can, can, can uh, do it again. Um, but yeah, Sharpedo, a lot of fun. If you guys haven't tried it yet, definitely recommend doing so. We just got a ton of knockouts for that, that uh, trial as well. But either way, we'll be right back with match number two. Match number two is here, playing Argentoon. Playing, I think, Volcanion. Playing Waterfire? Probably Volcanion. Uh, but Sharpedo is here. We're going to call Tails on this one. And uh, he's going to decide if we go first or second. Either way, he'll go first. Either way, we're going to have a good time here, I think. Uh, we do not get an opening hand, but neither does my opponent. And uh, may not be playing Volcanion. I see that... Oh, it could be Typhlosion. Oh boy, this could be bad. My opponent could be playing Typhlosion. Uh, we are going to be able to go into our... Our opponent still has no basic, which is actually good for us, because we will be able to pick up that additional card. We have a nice opening hand. No um, supporters or any way to draw, but we're okay with that. Fighting Fury Belt. I don't know what my opponent's playing. Slow... Oh. Oh, is all I can say. My opponent did get a starting Pokemon. Yes, we would love to draw cards. Uh, we got another Grimer, and we got our Supporter. Uh, we don't need to end turn one, which is great. Our opponent just starts with a Remoraid, nothing over the top. Very nice, very sweet for us. Uh, and that additional Grimer could easily help this matchup. Now, we will be able to drop a Spirit Link and the double or the Dark Energy. Hopefully get some stuff to discard off the end next turn after we've Mega Evolved. Um, so, my opponent just opts to dis ditch their entire hand. Two Team Rockets Handiworks, a Super Rod. Actually, three Handiworks, a Switch, and Escape Rope. Has not much going for it. It is a mill deck of sorts. Fighting Fairy Belt onto that Houndoom. So that is what it is. Uh, did not see any of that in the previous bit. Um, we are going to drop a Dark Energy down. Uh, Spirit Link. I don't need to play any additional Pokemon right now. Um, I don't want to get into any unnecessary card draw problems. So we're just going to pass this turn. Like I said, we're, we're looking good right off the top. We have the Mega Sharpedo in hand. I got the Grimers down. Off the end, I could easily uh, get a couple mucks potentially. Now, he is going to go for that Melting Horn. Uh, which will discard two cards off the top of our deck. He's playing it with Octillery, which is great, because now he'll have an opening of five cards all the time. And here's our first problem. is My opponent got to end before us. That's not good. Uh, do not get anything to get that Mega Sharpedo back. Uh, bit of a problem there. I might just Sycamore, but I can't do that either, because I got two turbos in my hand. So we do see the Melting Horn. It's going to ditch... You're gonna ditch the two cards that I actually need. Oh, I hate Mill. I hate Mill. Oh. Okay, we can drop one. Unfortunately, I do have to Sycamore. I haven't got any options. I can't waste my time. Okay. Okay. 
Ultra Ball, one Dark Energy, and an Escape Rope. For that Mega. We only have one more Mega. We have both of the uh, Mega Turbos left in the deck. Uh, sadly, we will not be able to play them. But we are up here. We have it going. Uh, we are going to go for an Escape Rope. So that my opponent can't... They have to force the switch. Now, our Sharpedo here has a retreat cost of 1. Easily able to get that back in after a Sycamore on the following turn. This will just buy us a turn, maybe, hopefully. Again, we have that ability to retreat even if we have to discard the energy. As long as we can kind of Sycamore and get a Mega Turbo. Or even if I get an Escape Rope here. No, we've already used it. Uh, we have a Float Stone. It's just as good. Just as good. We're all good. We can we can win this. My opponent just needs to get this artillery out of the active position. Uh, we have no Lysander near here, so we actually picked up the best cards for our matchup right now. Uh, we're gonna drop a nice Sharpedo bait here. We'll take out that artillery. That way his card draw is limited. He has no way of doing anything else. Houndoom has a natural base of two retreats, so he'll take three. Um, we can get one. You know what? Let's just drop this down. Try and get a Shaman going, maybe? Um, we can go with the double drop here. Go for a Shaman. I know I'm drawing a lot of cards really quickly, which I shouldn't be doing when I'm playing against a mill, but I need to get myself set up here. I need some Grimers. I didn't get any of those. I didn't get any of them. I don't want to end because he's. I'm actually in a good spot where his hand is not very good. We will retreat into the Sharpedo. Um, I can still get a Muck. I don't need the Banette. And we can get rid of the Spirit Link considering mine already has a Float Stone on it. So let's go for- there are no Mucks. There are no Mucks in my deck! Well that's a problem. Let's Torpedo Dive. We'll get some damage off on that good old Hound Doom right now. We're getting a Trainer's Mail, so that is not going to help us out here. Uh, the Hound Doom is the only thing up. That is unfortunate. We know we don't need any additional cards right now, because he's not going to be trying to do any damage. He's just trying to keep his HP high with that Fighting Fury Belt. Does go for an Ultra Ball. Does try to get another Pokemon down. He's getting rid of a Slow King Fighting Fury Belt for... It's either going to be a Slowpoke. It is a Slowpoke. Okay, so we have to try and get rid of that. This is going to be a hard match because I'm going to be trying to use up as many cards as I can to get utility going. And I don't have that. So Team Rocket's handiwork is going to fail. Beautiful. Absolutely love it when that happens. Via Seeker, he's going to try and go for it again. Like, not this turn, but he's got it again. And he's just going to go for a nice Melting Horn. Uh, ditches a VS Secret Trainer's Mail. Does not hurt me in the slightest. I get another Sharpedo Spirit Link. I need... Come on, Lysander. Thank you. I'm trying to go for prizes here. And I know that I can get some damage down onto that Houndoom with or without other things. So, we're alright. Torpedo Dive! Takes out that Slowpoke, because we do not want my energy played with. We do get a Muck! Awesome! We are one Muck in. Not that it's going to help this Houndoom that's in the front line. But we'll get up a bit of damage once we actually can start hitting it. Uh, we are not super effective. Team Rocket's handiwork is going to nil again! That is two times in a row my opponent has failed on that. Uh, we got rid of a Shaman for us. No problem on that. Uh, Mega Turbo is not necessary. Uh, we are just going to drop this muck down. Now, if he does play any additional Pokemon, uh, he'll be hurting for it. Torpedo Dive will just go for the 120. Means that I should be able to knock out this Houndoom on the following turn. And I believe I have this matchup. My opponent does go for a Skyla. Does have to waste his supporter. Can't go for any Team Rocket's handiwork. Uh, does Max Potion. Um, 
which is going to be a bit of a problem. That's actually a really nice play. Um, does drop a fire energy here to Melting Horn again. Uh, we are in no hurry of taking care of Pokemon. We can just play our muck here safely. Um, and we are going to go for that Torpedo Dive. Hit him for 120. He will need to Max Potion again if he wants to stay in this matchup. Because even with the Fighting Fairy Belt, you're only hitting 210 HP. Um, and that's not going to save you. Now, the Houndoom will go down. He's just getting a slow poke. This way he can try and push my energy down. Uh, it's not going to really work. Going to see a Skyla again. And does he really have another Max Potion? Oh, man. If he does, this is... Oh. What a game. Now, I have... I think he got an N. I don't think he got a Max Potion. He just goes for the Melting Horn. He's trying here. All right. We get a Dark Energy. We can drop that down onto our Sharpedo. Uh, we will be able to knock out our opponent's Houndoom, which is fine. I should have actually kept the energy in hand, but we are okay because we do have the Mega Turbo. And we're going to see a Lysander Muck, which is great. Now this good old Slowpoke has taken damage. Uh, Houndoom has gone down, but if Slow King, you can only push one energy down and I have a Mega Turbo. I don't have a Mega Turbo. Had one. But the end does help me out a bit. I'll have an end of my own. Uh, we see a Remoraid on my opponent's side. Dive Ball. Now he needs to flip a coin. This all rides on this coin toss. Because if Slow King does get it... Wait. Yeah, you get one coin toss. Max Potion goes off. Not going to help you here. Because uh, I do do a, I do 120 damage to the Slow King. Does go for the Royal Flash. Does land it! And my energy is going to move. Onto a Shaman. Bit of a problem. Uh, we get a Sycamore, which is absolutely fantastic. We'll Sycamore here. Come on, energy. Or the Mega Turbos come through! Beautiful. Uh, we do get that. And at the... We won't be able to take out Remoraid just yet, but we have a fair amount of damage here. Where Torpedo Dive will take out Slow King, our only real threat now in this matchup. And we have enough cards that we'll be able to survive another attack from the Remoraid. Uh, so we've been able to survive quite a bit and live through the hardships. We're going to see a Fire Energy hit Octillery. It's not going to do anything. My opponent, unfortunately, has gone down. The mill deck did not get us. Lysander's up my Shaman. I have Retreat. I'm okay. I'm okay. No, I don't. Team Aqua Bay, I need another energy. Or, you know, just use Olympia. And then we'll go into our Mega Sharpedo. And finish off today's match. Sharpedo picking up two wins, one against the Mill deck and one against a Xerneas deck, which got a ton of knockouts. A Sharpedo has a ton of fun possibilities. As you can see, we were not able to use the Shuppet uh, properly, but it is just there as a tech in case of a, you know, high-costing Floatstorm Retreat. Uh, but other than that, definitely has a few weaknesses in the high energy cost so you could use other pokemon like yveltal or other things to kind of get that energy down uh very easily to do so um and there's other partners as well you can try and get some damage output but really the two shot attack is his biggest flaw but again when you're doing so much damage to the bench you can pick up some easy knockouts like we did in match number one let me know your opinions on Sharpedo, if you guys have used him in your, yourself in the past. Um, I know it's only been out for a short period of time, but you never know, you may have done it. Um, that is all for me, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are brand new here, please hit that subscribe button, because it means the world to me. Uh, but that is it, thank you guys so much for watching. Time out.